With over 4,000 games released worldwide for the PlayStation 2, I've done the unthinkable. I'm giving you six essentials that you need for this library. A new feeling. Astonishment. Creativity. Awe-inspiring. All of these words describe one of the most incredible consoles of all time. These feelings, this experience kept us coming back for more. More stories, more challenge, more fun. The PlayStation 2 wasn't just a console. It was a revolution. It was a dynasty in the making. Intrigue. Performance. Convenience. PlayStation didn't just create a gaming console. They created an unstoppable powerhouse that would shake the culture's foundation to its very core. Dang, settle down, bro. It's just six games. Sorry, I just really like the PlayStation 2. Guys, welcome to Six Essentials, the series that gives you six essential games that you need for your respective console. In this video, you are not going to see Resident Evil titles. You're not going to see God of War because I feel like that in itself is a culmination of all of the games. These are six essential games though that really do belong in the console's library and will give you a very well-rounded feel on what this console was able to achieve. First up on our list is one of the most beautiful games in the PlayStation's library, and that is Okami. This game was made by Capcom late in the life cycle of the PlayStation. Set in feudal Japan, you are Okami, a goddess wolf that is there to protect the world. The story follows a demon that is now released back into the world, and Okami has to go contain it with the powers of the Sun Goddess, as well as some other really cool mechanics in the game. Aside from the art style being absolutely beautiful in this game with the cell shaded graphics, you also have a celestial brush mechanic, which helps you solve puzzles and also defeat your enemies with slashes of just a paintbrush. This mechanic alone made this such a unique title and game. The 3D platforming and the action is also such a fun ride in Okami. It ends up really wrapping into one of the most essential games games on this list. That is Okami for the PlayStation 2. Make sure that you pick this one up. Next up is one of the greatest racing games on the PlayStation 2, and that is Burnout 3 Takedown. This game had something very special with it. It felt different than other racers at the time. Not only does it include a crash mode where your job is literally just to create havoc on the streets and collect money from it, but it also has a fantastic worldwide circuit where your job is to not only win the race, but also take down opponents. Those things can happen with anything from nudges to full on side swipes. Not only is the soundtrack fantastic, the gameplay and racing, though it's arcade, feels like one of the best controlled mechanics in all of racing, and they really just have an entire aesthetic that just puts together one of the greatest racing games of all time, and that would be Burnout 3. When you think of racing games, you have your Gran Turismos and your Forzas, but you rarely have an arcade racer that not only pits you up against opponents, but adds this crash element that makes this game like none other. Burnout 3 Takedown, gotta get it. Guys, we have a cell shaded art game, we've got a racer, and now it's time to throw the kooky one in there, and that is Beyond Good and Evil. There was some fantastic action and stealth games on the PlayStation 2, but Beyond Good and Evil not only has those elements, but also fantastic combat, as well as a photography element to it, made popular by games like Pokemon Snap. 
The character Jade is a savior of orphans in a world where animal humanoid creatures and humans live together in harmony. Does it sound weird? Yes, because this game is absolutely bonkers, but is incredible on so many levels. Not only do you have racing elements, combat elements, but you also have a wonderful stealth all set up into a really cool world about figuring out a conspiracy. This game belongs on the list for everything I mentioned, but it is one of those unique titles you won't find anywhere else. On a PlayStation console, an essentials list is not complete without some type of RPG game. And what better to combine a beat-em-up with RPG elements in Odin Sphere. Now this game, published by Atlas, is one of the most creative and beautiful looking games with these pre-rendered backgrounds, this awesome combat system mixed with this Nordic lore is one of the few games where you cannot put this down after playing with Odin Sphere. The combat has a very quick, fun pace to it, mixed with your ability to upgrade your characters, and you take on five different roles as they come together in one story. This game not only gives you wonderful elements in the Nordic history, but you can play as Valkyries and Knights and Sages, and it ends up being just a very unique title for the PlayStation 2 that I feel should be essential on this list. Now, God of War is not on my list, but not because it doesn't deserve a spot. God of War is absolutely essential to the PlayStation 2, but you have to play it as a whole lore. Therefore, as a single title, I'm putting up Shadow of the Colossus. When the PlayStation 2 came out, this was a game of monumental proportions. Not only does it have an absolutely epic feel to it, the gameplay and the mechanics of taking down these colossal monsters is incredible. With a Zelda-like feel and a world that is very beautiful, you end up having most of your gameplay be you trying to take down these giant creatures. A lone warrior trying to save the love of his life by destroying these multiple colossus seems simple, but it is one of the most gratifying experiences of any game on the PlayStation 2. Take down your first colossus and you will want to keep going. It is wonderful and belongs on the PlayStation 2 Essentials list. All right, guys, before we get to our final pick on the six Essentials list, I'm going to throw out some notables that I think should be honorable mentions for the PlayStation 2. First up is Guitar Hero. I have Guitar Hero 2 in my hand because that one was my favorite, but Guitar Hero started the rhythm genre, and really, to this day, some of these are the best games on the system. Plug that guitar in, you press your colorful buttons all the way to some rock and roll. It is such a fun experience. Pick one up if you do not have a guitar here in your library. Next up is the Resident Evil game that never was, and that's Devil May Cry. They tried to develop a Resident Evil game that ended up being way too fast paced, too much stylus action, and decided to call it Devil May Cry and change the main character to Dante. If you guys haven't played this, it is the funnest thing to throw some enemies up in the air with ebony and ivory, your dual pistols. And this game just leaves you with such a fun experience. All of the games, except for number two, looking at you, in the library are worth your time. I would be shunned if I didn't put in an RPG, and that would be Dragon Quest VIII. This slime-filled creature world set in the Dragon Quest universe just gives you everything that you want out of a fun RPG game. If you haven't played a Dragon Quest game before, 8 is a really good place to start and one that I think belongs on the list. And I'm not even RPG fan, but I can give a nod to Dragon Quest 8. How do I do a 6 Essentials without putting Grand Theft Auto on the list? Not only is there amazing entries in the series, Grand Theft Auto, Vice City, San Andreas, but this one started it all. Moving from that top down to a third person view for the first time, we were all blown away. Your ability to traverse this world in an open-ended concept was incredible. Not only are you beating up people, destroying old ladies, and having fun with prostitutes, what better way to enjoy a lovely game made by Rockstar on the PlayStation 2 that changed gaming forever? 
Guys, my last pick is very curious, only because as a first person shooter fan, Generation 6 was not very kind to it unless you played Halo. And on the PlayStation 2 was a very wonderful game called Urban Chaos. Developed by Rocksteady, these are the same ones you can thank for the Arkham series, give you an FPS where you are a sergeant clearing out precincts and other crazy environments with a shield and an arsenal of guns. Now it seems simple, but this game not only is so fluid for the generation six times, but it also has this cool shield mechanic where you can bludgeon enemies and shoot them over your shield over and over again in various scenarios, and it never gets old. You have a plethora of help by firefighters and other precinct officers to get you through this but the gameplay just doesn't stop. It is intense, it is fun, it's exciting. It is a game that belongs in the essentials list because it is so unique for the PlayStation era, and that is Urban Chaos. Go check this one out. Well, my friends, that is six essentials on the PlayStation 2. These were always hard to narrow down. Like I said, after 4,000 games being released worldwide, how do you pick six? So you guys have to tell me, what are your games that you believe should be six essentials on the PlayStation 2? There is so many games to choose from. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. If you guys like my silly content, you like what I got going on, hit that subscribe button because next time we do an essentials, we're going on the PlayStation 3. I'll talk to you guys later.